We're less than a month out from when thousands will be flocking into Churchill Downs for the 148th Kentucky Derby, where there are questions about Bob Baffert's suspension and the legitimacy surrounding the sport. The Kentucky Derby means so much to all of us, especially those of us that were born and raised in Kentucky. It's part of us. A panel on Wednesday with decades of horse racing experience debated whether this year's race will have more controversy than cheers, as famed horse trainer Bob Baffert is banned from taking part. If you're going to have rules, there has to be some disciplinary action, I think, in place. Baffert is currently suspended by Churchill Downs for two years after his derby winning horse, Medina Spirit, tested positive for a banned medication. His attorney, Clark Brewster, is representing him and was on the panel. We have a situation here where now Churchill has gone out and made this ban. It's a, a black mark on the industry, not for what the ban was based upon, but by the fact that the ban was made without even an opportunity to have a discussion. Brewster claims Baffert was never given due process and it's why his client is suing Churchill Downs over the suspension. The Kentucky Court of Appeals upheld Baffert's suspension from the Kentucky Derby. When a fair judge listens to the evidence, he's going to be fine. But how is the damage repaired? How, how do you put the toothpaste back in the tube then? I don't know. I think there'll be another chapter of Bob Baffert. I feel like it's not our place to adjudicate what's going on between Baffert, KHRC, and Churchill Downs. While Baffert won't be in attendance, Ed DeRosa with Horse Racing Nation says this gray cloud over the sport is one that won't go away anytime soon. I would just say horse racing's legitimacy is at stake, period. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.